Hello, Plutter experts. Welcome back to another exciting session of our e-commerce application development series. In this segment, we will be integrating the image picker functionality and making UI enhancements. So, yeah, let's dive into the code. But if you are seeing that this is the login screen of our application, we have just uh, designed in the previous video lecture, but we have not added uh, these things. So. Um, I have noticed this in while I was offline so I was just testing this so I have just noticed this so we have not added uh, these buttons so here now I have just added a row um, under our this guest button so after that I have just added a basic and simple row as you know that a row is a widget and it takes children and inside the children um, I have just done nothing but I just added a subtitle widget and added a text to it and now on this sign in button I have just used a text button so it should be um, clickable so we just need to perform some kind of actions on that so I have just used this text button for that purpose and I'll just label that uh, with the sign up text as you saw that and we have just decorated it underlined and the font style is italic so it, it the style should be just italic on that and on the on press function when this button is clicked so it will just redirect to our sign up page and yeah that's it now we will be just designing um our image picker so we just need to head um our image picker in our registration page so we will be just adding this under this welcome message so yeah let's just uh, create that first thing first so we will be just creating a new dart pile um which will be pick image widget so i will be just going to our this widget and here under this uh, inside this auth directory now i will be just creating a new dart file which will be pick image and that will be widget to dart sorry i just missed spell the dart so i will just rename that again and now i will just add the t and there you have it now i just create a state list widget here so yeah that's it now i will just name it pick image widget and there you have it so we are just making this um, image picker reusable so we just need to get some uh, things uh, dynamically so we just need to add uh, the necessary things to uh, into the constructor so for that we just need to add the final fields here so for that we just need to use the final and the x file thing so x file just comes from the package so I'll just show you which which package I'm talking about. So I have already installed a package from our my uh, image picker. So this package will just help us to pick an image from the gallery or the camera. So yeah, just install this package. And just type on the terminal platterpub dot uh platter pub head and this package name which is image picker and there you have it this will be installed for you so great after installing that now we just need to import this and we will be just using our this x file so yeah i will just um, import this x file so which is basically coming from our that package so yeah let's just import that first so yeah i will just import this package and now we, are, we will be just able to use this and great now we will be just uh, uh, using this x file and i just created a variable of type x file and just name it picked image and we just need to um, also create a function to which this button is clicked and it will just take us to our gallery or the camera so for that purpose we will be just adding the final function and the function great now i'll just use that which will be function and I'll just name it function and there you have it now we will be just adding the final piece to our constructor and great now we are done so so now what we will be just doing we will be just creating a container here basically a simple container and on that container we will be just adding a button which will be just clickable on but uh, that button will be on that container so for that we just need to use the stack to add um add a widget to another 
widget so i will be just doing that by just using the stack widget here so i will be just showing the example uh live what we will be just doing and you will be just getting that what i am just trying to say so yeah i have just used this stack so basically a stack works like the column and the row but it is um a bit different so we can just add a widget on that existing widget so we it also just takes the children so in this children part we will be just heading the container so now i will be just decorating that container which will be container decoration and we will be just using the box decoration border radius and that's it now i will be just give it some kind of border radius into it which will be border radius dot circular and i'll just give it at point how and i'll just provide it a color to it which will be border and the border dot hole so we just need to call our this back image widget uh, class into our this registration page so yeah i will be just moving to our registration page from here and yeah now we just need to call it um here which will be under our this welcome message so i will just search for that um which is this basically so yeah we will be just adding that so i will just add this inside the size book so i will be just able to give it a size according to my um device so i will be just using the size box here for that purpose so we just need to specify the size for our this container which will be the image picker and to show the image so i will be just using the height property of our widget which will be height and i will just take the height from our size which will be width so we just need to create the size so um from our media query so i will be just doing that first which will be here i'll just name take the size size and which will be media query dot of context and now we just need to use the size which will be size and mm, there you have it now we will be just using this size and we will be just converting and uh, specifying the our uh, size of our container so now i'll just use this size and now i will be just getting the width so i'll be just calculating the um container from our width of our this device so we will be just doing that and i will be just multiplying it with 0 3 and here now we will be just also defining the width of our this container so we will be just using the size dot width and again i will be just multiplying it with 0 0.3 and i'll just save this and so yeah we have just got the spaces here for this sized box and uh, uh, now i'll just use the child property and now i will be just calling our that um class which we have just created that reusable that component uh, which was picked image widget and now it requires some kind of uh, function so yeah we just need to provide them so what will be the function and what will be the packed image so we just need to create them here so for that we will be just creating them um, so first we just need to create the function for this and i will be just going on the top and here here under that in this registration function i will be just creating a future function and which will be type of uh, wide and i will just name it local image picker and this time it will be uh, using the async keyword because it's a future function so we just need to uh, use the async keyword here um and great now i will be just using the final and again i will just import my this image picker uh, which will be image picker basically yeah great now we just need to import this and yeah now i'll just name it picker and i will just initialize it so yeah now i will be just um, uh, creating a method which will be when i just click on this image when we just need to add that image so it will just show some kind of options here 
uh, basically what it will be it will just show the dialog box so we will be just moving ahead and creating um, a simple and a basic uh, method for our this dialog box so it will just show uh, from where you just want to take the image from the gallery or the from the camera so yeah i will be just moving ahead with my this uh, uh, services directory and inside this my uh, my help method so we ha we have already just defined some kind of um, dialog box for our error so now we just need to define it for our this button when just this button is clicked so some kind of error a dialog should be shown on the screen so for that we will be just designing that so yeah it will be just a static which will be a static and i'll just create a future function again for my this uh, show dialog box which will be future and the type will be void and i'll just name it image picker dialog and there, there there you have it so now i'll just create that function here which will we just need to give some kind of required fields into it so for that we just need the build context first so we will be just using the required and now we just need the build context here which will be build context and the context great now i'll just uh, quickly just adding some kind of features for our camera function for gallery function and another function we just need to um, also be able to remove that image which we have just picked so now i'll just uh, make this required first so yeah i'll just copy this required keyword here and now i just paste it and now i'll just use the function so it will basically be a function and i'll just use the camera which will be fct and this will be the function and great now i'll just copy this and paste this again and again and i'll be just changing the name which will be gallery fct and this time it will be remove function great now i'll just use this and uh, i will be just making this uh, async so it is a basically a future function so it will be async uh, function so great now we just we are just getting some kind of errors so let's see what we are just getting on there so the body is not okay we will be just tackling that out so for that we just need don't need these parentheses now so we have already created them um, great now we will be just uh, moving ahead so what we just need to show so we will be just showing the show dialog uh, which will be how wait we will be just waiting for some time and i'll be just showing a dialog which will be show dialog and it requires the context we are providing the context and now it requires a builder so we will just provide that builder to it great i'll just uh, Add a semicolon here so first so yeah first thing first so now we just need to use the uh, return the alert dialog for us so i'll be just uh, doing that so now i just need to use the title so what will be our title for this so title will be simply i'll just make it uh, to center so for that we just need to use the child and now inside the child now i just use our own customized uh, title text widget and now i'll just provide it a label so for what will be the label so label will be choose option great now i'll just save this add a semicolon save this again and what i will be just doing so um, great now so now what i will be just doing i will be just going outside of this center widget now i'll just use the content part of our this alert dialog and now i'll just make it scrollable so for the for the scrolling so we just need to make our screen scrollable so we just need to uh, use our single scrollable view so we just be able to make our screen scrollable so yeah now i'll just use the child part and now i'll be just making the list body which will be list body and we will be just using this list body um, widget which will be just providing a widget basically a uh, list 
basically so yeah inside the child so it is a multi um, child layout so we will be just using the children part and children property and inside the children we just need to use uh, and provide some kind of buttons the camera the gallery or remove the image so i will be just um, using the text button here which will just provide the own uh, press functionality here so i'll be just um tackling that but for now i will be just using so here we just need um, an icon uh, with the button so for that we just need to use the text button dot icon so i'll be just using that which will be text button dot icon and we will be just getting the property of icon also so we can just be able to add the icon here so i'll be just uh providing the icon basically so what will be the icon so icon will be the icon dot camera so we, this is our for our camera so we will be just providing the icon uh camera icon so it will be icon icons dot camera icons dot camera so yeah now i'll just add the course keyword here that's it now we just need to provide it a label so what will be the label it will be camera Mm, so the label takes uh, widget so i'll just provide it the const text widget and i'll just name it so what will be it will be camera great now i'll just uh, save this from here Get done so now what we will be just doing on that uh, what will be and this will be this and this will be this um, and great now i'll just copy and paste uh, so i will be just configuring this button and then i will be just copying pasting this so we just need to some kind of um edit something on that so for that we just need to call the camera function which we have just created on the top which will be this and this great great now we are done so now i will just check some kind of condition here so if uh navigator dot can pop so it is can pop is true so we will be just taking the container um if it is true so we will be just uh, navigating uh and closing our this dialog box so for that we will be just using the navigator dot pop dot pop and that's it now i will be just copying this and pasting this for our gallery and the remove one so for that i will be just selecting all and cut alt shaped and the arrow down so it will be just copied for us now for i will be just calling it for our gallery so how it is the gallery so our function was gallery fct and that's it now we just need uh, to uh, show that uh, um, basic uh, icon with the image so now for that it is the gallery so we will just uh, change the label to the gallery that's it now i'll just copy paste this again and this time we just need to clear it so we are just calling this remove fct and that's it now we just uh, use the remove icon for this which will be remove and now we will be just naming it remove so yeah now we are done by just creating this method and now we will be just uh, going back to our this registration page and we have just left this so now we will be just implementing this from here so now I will be just using the wait keyword to just wait for some time and now I will be just calling our that method which was uh, my app methods dot uh, image picker dialog and it requires the context and now it need to just define the camera function the gallery function and the remove function for this so yeah now we will be just doing that for that we just need to so cut this and now we just need to make this and this as you know that our that function is the future function this camera function so we will be just using the async keyword here and again now what we will be just doing we will be just um, 
creating a basic variable so what variable we will be just creating on the top so for that we will be just uh, creating a, a variable of type uh, x file so which will be x file which will be x file and yeah now i'll just name it picked image which will be suitable for this now i will be just uh, using this file and here on uh, this function so what will be just what i will be just doing so i will be just storing the um, image into it so i will be just using this and now i'll just make it have wait for some time so now i'll be just using the uh, this instance of image picker and now we will be just getting the image from the camera which will be pick image and in the source will be image source dot camera image source dot camera and that's it now i'll just save this use the semicolon and now i will be just copying this function so which function this camera function from here and i'll just do it for the gallery and just change this so yeah we are getting that error why so we will be just tickling that so yeah now we will be just doing that um, from here so great now i'll just do that copy and that's it now i'll just paste this and great now i will be just changing this to gallery which will be gallery and great so the gallery one is done the camera one is done so we also just need to uh, provide the set state because we will be just refreshing the screen when our this thing is uh, packed so we will be just using the set state here which will be set state great i'll just copy paste it again uh, for this here the two 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 things and two commas are used so i'll just remove one and save this again and now we will be just uh configuring how this thing uh the remove function for us so what will be the remove function so i will be just configuring it in a second so here now we will be just doing that um which will be uh, under the set state so it will be just removing the image which we uh, which is just packed so for that we will be just making our this packed, packed image basically to null so we will just be able to remove that which will be null great so now here we just need to provide the packed image which will be packed image which is the type of expire and now we just need to provide uh, the function into it which will be the function and it will be the hasync and now i'll just make it await for some time here which is the future function obviously we just need to use the async keyword and the um await keyword for us so for that we will be just calling our that function which we have just created and then uh, i will just save this and we will be just moving ahead and we will be just creating um how the spec image and here you have it we are just done by providing the container here it is being shown here so uh we will be just going back to our this spec widget so for that we will be just going back here and implementing that so here on this part we will be just first checking if this container uh, or this text image is null or not and we will be just showing this and if it is not null so we will be just um, showing that image so yeah first i will be just checking this so i'll just wrap it with the padding widget first so we just need some kind of paddings here and after the padding we just uh, wrap this um, container with the clip hard so we just need some kind of border radius into it so for that we just need to wrap our widget with the clip r r rect uh, which is clip r r rect and that's it now we will be just uh, checking uh, here um, if uh, our picked image is null so just show this the container so if it is not null so the image so for that we will be just checking that which will be picked image is equal to null then show this so 
yeah what is this what is the issue so we are just using the cost keyword here great now we are just done now we will be just showing this so if it is not uh, null so we will be just showing the image which will be just image dot file it will be image dot file now we will be just providing that image which is picked which will be image uh, picked image dot path so we just need to provide the path um, so basically what we are just getting so let's see the argument type is string cannot be assigned to the parameter type file so for that we will be just um, cutting this from here for now now i'll just use the file which will be the file basically yeah so now i'll just use the file so i will be just using importing this library dot input and output so we will be just solving the issue and now inside this now i will be just using the picked image dot path and that's it now uh, I'll just use the null safety check here to just solve the issue and great now I will be just also using the pet to just pet the image on our this container so for that I'll be just using the fit and box pet which will be box pet dot pal so it will just pal the image to the container and I'll just save this here so here now we just need um, the button basically the camera button which will be just clickable so it is just clicked so our dialog box will be shown up so for that we will be just coming out from this padding widget and now we will be just using a position widget so for that we will be just using the position widget and on the child property in the child part we will be just using the material um, widget and inside this material widget we will be just giving it some kind of border radius to it which will be border radius and the border radius will be border radius dot circular so i will be just providing it 16.ho and that's it now i'll just need to provide a color to it which will be color dot light blue for me which is our basic theme and we are just maintaining the theme for us and great now i will be just um going back again here i'll just put a comma great so now i will be just using the child part and inside the child part i will be just using the gesture detector to make the button um clickable so for that we just need that so in this video but we were using the gesture detector but there is another um widget also which just provide the whole tip functionality but um, we will be just using that uh, which is inkwell so i i just want to know uh, to tell you guys so you just know all the widgets available for tapping or gestures and on tap functionalities and there is another function which is inkwell so we will be just using that for now so yeah great now we just also need to change the splash color for that which will be colors dot red and uh, now we just to provide it a border radius that to that button for that we will be just using the property border radius to circular and i'll just provide it 16.0 and great now we just uh, use the whole tip functionality of this um hank well has we have uh, we, we were just being using on the guest detector which is basically same thing so now we are just using it um here with the hank well so now i'll just use the function which is function and that's it so set this again what will be i'll just come out of this function and now i'll just using the child property of this and here on this part now we just need to use the icon to just show it on our screen which will be icon and this will be icon icons dot camera camera halt so i will just camera halt here now we just 
provided a size to it so what will be the size for our this icon so size will be 20 for me and again now we just uh, need to provide it a color so yeah you just see we have got the camera here so i will be just providing it a color so basically which will be colors dot white for me colors dot white yeah that's it i'll just save this great now we just need to position our this thing so for the position so here on this part i'll be just using the cons keyword now what we will be just doing so we will be just keeping get some kind of paddings to our this icon so i'll just wrap this with the padding widget and great now i'll just cut this const from here and i'll just provide it here so now need don't need this from here also that's it now i have just provided some kind of paddings to it and great now it is looking much better so we just need to bring it here so for that we just need to uh keep this positions so for the top side we just uh, take it to zero and the right one to the zero so it will be just moving to the right side so great now we just save this and there you have it it is just moved um, to the right one great now here now when i just click this you will be just getting some kind of dialog box basically so yeah we are just not getting that but we will be just tickling that out so i will be just moving to my this registration page again and we will be just yeah we are just getting there so i will be just auto restarting my this application so yeah we have just got uh, this dialog button so now we will be just clicking on the camera so we will be just moving to our camera so i will just uh, click an image here and i'll just take this so yeah it is basically being visible here but we just need some kind of um border here also when the image is being shown so for that we will be just moving to our this back image again and this i this time we will be just providing the border radius to our this so uh, it will be border radius and the border radius to circular and i will just provide it 8.0 and i'll just save this and let's see how it will look so yeah now we will be just checking um how a gallery one so we will be just moving to our gallery but there is uh no image available for us in the gallery so yeah now we will be just moving back so yeah we are done by just picking the image and showing it the image on um, here but we will be just also configuring uh, um, our forget password screen so for that i will just um restart our this application so it will be just moving to our login screen so we just need to also add the button here to just move to sign in um screen so but i will be just doing that so we just need to copy the sign in button sign of uh, sign in the we just need to copy the sign in uh things sign in the screen things to just uh, sign up page so we will be just um, done for that but i will be just doing that uh, later on uh, but first i will be just moving to my this forget screen um, a login screen so here we will be just getting the forget password button so now we just need to um implement the screen for our this forget password button so yeah the things uh, are very much similar we have just used and i have already created my forget password screens here so i have already uh, created a state of all widget here and i just named uh, created a route for forget password to just move to forget password screen and yeah we have just created a controller which will be basically for our email controller so we just need to put an email so for that we just uh, uh, created a controller and the key which will be the form key so we are done we have just initialized this in, in into this init state and we also have just uh disposed this 
so yeah we have just created a function for how this forget password function i just named it and we have just created and added unfocused thing so it should be unfocused when the uh, outside of this uh, text form field is clicked so great now i will be just um uh, configuring this basically first so for that we just need to uh, go to main dot dot and here um i will be just creating uh, a route for our this uh forget password so which will be forgot forgot password so i will just go back and there the forgot password and i'll just copy the name from there and just save this which is forgot password screen so i'll just move again here and i'll just paste this great now we just need to import this from here and after importing that we just need to use the route name and the route name and i'll just copy that context thing from here and i'll just use this uh, which will be um, the forgot sorry for got password and that's it i'll just save this again and that's done so now i will be just moving to my this login screen and when this forget button is clicked so we will be just moving um to this screen so i'll be just copying this from here which will be oh sorry i'll be just copying this and now we will be just searching for this forget button which is so yeah this is the forgot button and this is the function hopper so we will be just navigating to um have a forgot which was the forgot password screen sorry which is forgot password screen dot route name and i'll just import this and what was the name which is basically uh route name and i'm done so i'll just save this from here and i'll just click here to the forget screen so we will be just redirected to our forget screen so we'll be just moving to the forget screen so yeah now i will be just defining what i have done here basically so we have just used the escape fold and have bar so i have just made this bar and the application name uh, into the center so that's the reason i have just added the center title to true uh, and great now we, this is the unfocused thing so this thing is clicked and now when i just click outside of this text form field so it will be just unfocused so i have just uh, used the shape area so just uh, to make our code under this section so it will be just uh, be headed to the shape area so it will not just cross the lines of this topper and it will not just touch that so we have just used a uh, list view here so i have added the list view and now we just need added the physics to the bouncing scrolling so it will just scroll uh, bouncing so it is not scrolling for now so it will just do that uh, basically it will just um, add the bouncing effect to it so i have just added this um, image basically we are just getting that image from the asset so it is available there so for that we just um, added some kind of uh, title which is the forgot password this and subtitle this and uh some kind of word spaces and here on the form key on the form basically we have just used a uh, text form field as we have just used in our registration and that uh, um, uh, login screen so same as it is we are just using this from here and i am also validating this and we are just done by that great now that's it you just need to implement this um, screen so yeah you can just uh, do that it is very 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 much simple so i am also showing the code um, slowly so you can just uh, see the code what is uh, being done actually and that's wrap up part 12 we have successfully integrated the image picker created a user friendly dialogue for image selection and designed a forgot screen 
um, congratulations on completing the user interface section of our application development journey and this in the next section uh, we will delve into integrating provided uh, provider state management into our application if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel yet now's the perfect time stay tuned for more exciting flutter tutorials until then stay happy stay fit as usual happy fluttering